all right guys welcome back um if you're new here uh welcome to the channel um but if you're not new here again welcome back to our tutorial series um for this one i'm gonna be showing you guys how to go about customizing your home page um and this guy really is um you know works for both plain jane and plain jane interactive if you have plain jane starter um, you might want to skip this one this isn't really the guide for you um but again for plain jane plain jane interactive people this is the guide for you all right so uh what we're going to do here i'm just going to explain to you guys um some things you should think about when getting started i think the main thing is figuring out how to customize the home page i'm going to go through the main layouts that we have for uh the plain jane home page all right um so first off is of course the center menu um this is the most popular a lot of people a lot of small brands like to use the center menu um supreme style menu um so once you download or upload your theme um for a lot of you it's gonna look just like this um but if it doesn't look just like this um you can copy these sections over here we're using a preloader email pop-up page canvas dynamic background and the center menu if you want to follow along um but i'm going to go through each type of menu and each type of setup that um you can kind of do or start with all right so the main thing here is uh we don't have a menu all right so like you know links showing up so what you want to do is you want to click on center menu from the side here and then you want to look over to the right um and then you're going to want to choose a menu okay so if you don't have a menu created already like if say you're starting completely from scratch you're going to want to hit this create menu button up here and it'll take you back to your shopify dashboard so you can add a new menu so i'm going to just call this one test menu all right and you want to add your menu items so um let's say you want to add a men's link right and here you can link it to wherever you want on your actual store all right so if you're doing something like men's you might want to you know make a collection that's for men right now all i have is just you know the the bare minimum you know the default when you start um but what you're going to want to do in this case is probably go make a men's collection of products for now we're just going to just you know link them to the same place just for now um but you can go on through and just create the different links you'd want to have. Let's just link the same place, whatever. Um, let's say you want to have a lookbook. Uh, let's see. It's going to link it to the homepage for now. And then it gets contact. We can actually link this to our contact page. All right, cool. We're gonna hit save. All right, and we're gonna go back to our customizer and close this out. I'm gonna have to refresh it, click it again. Actually, let me uh, refresh the whole screen here. To load, all right. I'm gonna click, choose the menu. Our test menu is here now. And now you have everything pop up right here. Um, so that's how you get your actual menu links to kind of pop up. Um, and then we we have tons of different settings um, here that you can just kind of play around with. Um, you have your social media icons here. Um, so you have to like, you know, click the switch to activate it. And then for the actual link, you're gonna have to come down here and paste where you want it to go. So you'll type in your actual Tumblr link, your X, TikTok, threads, whatever links you put them in here and it'll work. All right. All right, so that's layout number one is the center menu. So now I'm gonna show you guys the side align menu or uh, layout number two. So what you wanna do is you're gonna go over here to your sections on the left hand side and you're gonna wanna delete the center menu. Okay. You're gonna hit delete to have a blank page. Um, you want to leave your dynamic background and page canvas, but the page canvas, you can delete the dynamic background and get rid of it if you want, but I'd recommend leaving it. Um, but you want to click add section. All right. And 
And here we have about 70 different sections that we've made for you guys to use to kind of build your own pages. Um, but for your home page, you want to always make sure that you have a menu um, here somewhere, right? Um, so we use the center menu earlier. Um, next, we're going to use our side aligned menu. All right. So when it first loads up, this is all you're going to see. Um, remember, you're going to want to attach a menu first. So make sure you click side align menu um, and then go to the menu on the side here on the right. Select a new test menu, the one we just created. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see the side align menu pop up. All right. So now you can play around with the settings over here on the right hand side. Um, you can make the font size way bigger if you want. You know, um, of course, you can move the link spacing vertically, all that stuff up to like about 45. We can go like way lower. It's up to you guys. Um, there's other like, oops, there's other like color settings here that you can play around with. Um, show login link. This is if you want to have people um, log into their customer accounts. Um, you don't have to have this on. You can choose to hide it. Um, right now it's not showing just because we don't have the customer account settings set up properly on this Shopify store. Um, but I'm going to leave that for a whole different video. Um, logo, you know, you can align to the left or the right. Um, and then if you want to change the fonts here, you can go to settings, um, and then typography. Okay. Um, and then right here's default center slash side menu, enter page fonts. Okay, so you can change the font from this drop down here. And there's like over 100 plus fonts in here. If you want to do a custom font, that'll be for a different video for a different day. Um, but this is basically what you get with the sideline menu. All right, guys, so next we're going to get rid of our sideline menu. Let me show you the next uh, menu layout that we have. That's the compact menu. Look along here, compact menu. Okay. And you're going to see this hamburger menu, the three lines here in the top, right? That's the menu. Um, you can move the logo around to the center. If you want, um, to the right side and swap places with the hamburger menu or keep it on the left. Um, I'm just going to center it for now. And right now you just have like a blank, you know, white screen. So for this, what you want to do is going to go to dynamic background here that we place. And if you click, uh, let's change the style from a color to an image. All right. So everything pop up there. It's just a default image. If you want, you can scroll down here and click select on the image background. Let's use this image here. All right. Hit done. And there you go. So now you have this and for you to continue, you can now add another section. Um, let's say, let's say you want to do, um, collection list, right? We put this section down here, for example, um, let's add something else. Let's add product carousel you can drag it around. So now you have more of a traditional, um, you know, scrolling kind of homepage that you can build from scratch with the different sections and elements we have here. I'm not going to go through all of these because this video will literally go on forever. Um, but I just kind of want to show you guys a little bit, um, of how to go about starting that. All right. So you're going to want to use the compact menu for that. Um, could you do the same, like adding different sections with the other menus you could, but it just looks a little bit weird, especially with the center, um, side of line menus, um, those kinds of menus, you're not really expecting to continue to scroll. You're kind of expecting more so to, uh, you know, click a link from the side or from the center and continue deeper into the site. Um, so that's really on you. You can do that if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so let's now delete these. All right. Let's say that you want to go straight to your actual product page. You don't want to even have a home page. You want to just, you know, uh, people to type in your store URL and then immediately 
um, get taken to like a collection page or a product page or whatever. So all you're gonna have to do is go to your settings right here, theme settings. Uh, we're gonna go to home page settings and you can do skip enter screen. All right, so this is going to skip over this whole, uh, you know, home page screen and you can redirect it to any page on your site. So um, let me see collections. I'll just do this home page collection. I don't have any products set up in the store, um, so nothing's going to pop up. But if I save this and I open up a preview, let me just this is now my landing page. All right. But if I go back and I undo this, all right, then hit save. You can go back to this web page. If I hit refresh here now, oh, wait, no. I need to go back to the actual home link. Click this. Now you see like the preloader and our old page pops up and all that stuff. So you can choose to skip past this page if you don't want anything here. You want to go straight to the to the um, collection of products and all of that. Um, and lastly, let me not forget to um, show you guys how to actually attach the navigation to this compact menu. All right. So if you open this up, you see there's no links in here. So what you want to do for this one, you want to go to theme settings on the left and then scroll on down to global menu settings, choose a menu and do our test menu and you'll see it populate right there on the left hand side. So now if we open it, you'll see it all right here. And that's about it for, uh, you know, this compact menu style. Um, a few things to take note of, uh, just remember to use use this dynamic background with the other uh, menu options. For example, if I let me get rid of these here, option list. So now if I get rid of this compact menu, if I hide it, right? So now our logo and the navigation here is gone. We just have our background. You go come back to add a section. If you do the center menu, right? And then we hook up our menu from the right hand side here, select menu test menu, change the link text colors to white. So now we have this kind of a style, right? And scroll down, you see a footer. Um, if you had like a, let's see, collection list or whatever, see how that would look a little bit weird. Like you don't want to really scroll from here. So I wouldn't recommend putting any sections here for this. Um, but anyway, so you can have your background show up like this. Um, you can come over here and change this to a slideshow. It's the same deal. You just upload your images here. Um, let's go back here. Let me show you what it looks like with the side aligned menu. We're going to hide this. Oh, whoops. Hide, hide that. And with the side aligned menu. I'm going to link our menu here, test menu. And it's hard to see because it's, you know, it's in black. Let's uh, let's make this white and increase the link font size. And there you go. So those are the core, uh, I guess, layouts that we have for the home page menus. You could either do um, you can have it in the, on the side, side of line like this. Um, you can do a center menu like this, or you can just do the compact style um, and really start building out your home page from scratch using our sections here. Just add that, for example, etc. So hopefully that was helpful. Just leave a like and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell somebody you know about Plain Jane. Um, and just stay tuned for the next one. I have another tutorial video coming up real soon. All right now, peace guys.